Take a look at this paper from Dresden University of Technology, Germany. It might change your view on large language models altogether. You know how people always say AI hallucinates? Like it just makes stuff up? Well, what if I told you that these so-called hallucinations could actually help discover new life-saving drugs? Sounds crazy, right? But according to groundbreaking research, AI's biggest flaw might actually be its greatest strength. So, let's break it down. AI hallucinations, those moments when it confidently spits out something totally wrong, are usually seen as a problem. But a group of researchers wondered, what if those mistakes were actually useful? What if they could help AI make unexpected connections in drug discovery? Connections that human scientists might never even think of. And guess what? It worked. They ran a study where AI was allowed to hallucinate while describing molecular structures. And instead of making things worse, it made drug predictions more accurate. Mind-blowing. Right? Here's the thing. Discovering new drugs takes forever. It can take over a decade just to develop one new medicine. It costs billions of dollars to test and approve. And researchers have to sift through millions of molecules to find just one that might work. AI has already been helping with this process. But the problem is, it's too safe. It sticks to what it already knows, which means it misses potential breakthroughs. That's where hallucinations come in. All right, since you come this far, remember to like, subscribe, and share to help the community grow. Okay, so how did the researchers actually test this? They took large language models like GPT-40, Llama 3.18b, and Minestrel 8b and told them to describe chemical molecules. But here's the twist. Instead of making sure the AI was accurate, they let it hallucinate. That means that sometimes it would add details that weren't exactly correct. Like saying a molecule contained hydrogen when it actually didn't. Sounds like a bad idea, right? Except those hallucinations forced the AI to think differently and that's what made the magic happen. To give a real-world analogy, imagine you're a detective trying to solve a crime. A normal AI would only use the evidence in front of it. But a hallucinating AI? It starts making bold guesses. What if the suspect was left-handed? What if they used poison instead of a knife? Now, some of those guesses will be wrong. But one of them might just crack the case. That's exactly what happened in this study. By letting the AI make creative errors, it actually got better at predicting which molecules could be useful in medicine. All right, here's where things get wild. The AI models that hallucinated actually performed better than the ones that only used factual data. Key takeaways. Llama 3.18b improved by 18.35% in predicting drug properties. GPT-40's hallucinations led to the most reliable improvements. Even AI models specifically trained for chemistry got a boost when hallucinations were added. Why? Because mistakes made the AI pay closer attention. Think of it like chess. A beginner just memorizes moves. A grandmaster hallucinates hundreds of possible outcomes, even if most of them never happen. That ability to think outside the box is what makes them better. That's exactly what's happening here. Hallucinations force AI to see connections it normally wouldn't. Now, let's talk about why hallucinations actually helped. The researchers found three major factors that made this work. Bigger AI equals more useful hallucinations. Bigger AI models could generate more meaningful creative errors, ones that actually led to better predictions. Temperature settings, finding the sweet spot. Too low and the AI plays it safe. Too high and the AI goes crazy. The best range, 0.5 to 0.7, lets the AI be creative without going off the rails. Language matters. Hallucinating in Chinese? Surprisingly, hallucinations in Chinese work the best, even though the AI wasn't trained for it. Why? Because it forced the AI to think differently. One hallucination described a molecule as containing hydrogen when it didn't. Sounds bad, right? But that wrong answer made the AI think harder and actually led to better drug predictions. Like a trick question from a teacher, you have to double check your logic and in doing so, you learn more. This research changes everything. What if AI's biggest weakness is actually its greatest strength? Instead of trying to eliminate hallucinations, maybe we should be using them to push AI beyond human thinking.
with AI continuing to reshape medicine, science, and technology. Harnessing these creative errors might be the biggest breakthrough of the next decade. So the next time someone tells you AI is hallucinating, remember, it might just be seeing something we can't yet understand. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more AI breakdowns.